Good morning. Happy Easter Monday. We're going to be doing something a little different with our devotions this week. Instead of focusing on people, on the saints calendar, we're going to be looking at him. So this is going to be a daily hymn of the day for the next week. Today we are exploring uh, Now the Green Blade Rises, which is Ruth's favorite hymn. I didn't know if you know that, but our very own Ruth Blum loves this hymn. So that's why we're starting with this first. So just also a quick reminder that if you can't leave your home and if you need some help getting supplies or necessities, there is our phone number and our email address. You can contact the, the, us there at any time. So, Now the Green Blade Rises was a hymn text that was written by John McLeod Campbell Crum, 1872 to 1958. He wrote this Easter hymn for a tune that had been associated with a Christmas carol. It was published with the tune, in the Oxford Book of Carols in 1928. By the way, the book that I am getting this from is the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal Companion, which has been a very nice resource for me. Sometimes if I can't think of anything else to preach on with a particular text, if I look at what the hymn is, the hymn of the day is, then that can sometimes give me a clue as to what direction to go. Beginning with the green blade rising, it gently but continuously pursues the imagery of grain throughout the hymn, even to the rhyme scheme, where the rhymes in all the stanzas of the first two lines, as printed in Evangelical Lutheran worship, are with grain. The rhyme with again is a slant rhyme, but even that could be avoided. Again can be pronounced like again, which may have been the author's intent. Crumb was an Englishman educated at New College in Oxford, who was ordained an Anglican deacon in 1897 and a priest in 1900. He started several churches and was chaplain to the Bishop of Oxford and Canon of Canterbury from 1928 to 1943. He wrote children's hymns and books on historical, architectural, and biblical subjects. The name of this tune is Noël Nouvelle, so it's an old French Christmas carol. Uh, it's, the tune has been associated with a Christmas text since the 17th century. The tune, which goes back to at least the late 15th century, may be the original one for the carol. It is a delightful melody in the Dorian mode. Now, what is the Dorian mode? I hear you ask. You know, uh, music has different... You know what a major key is, perhaps. A lot, of key, a lot of music is in the major key. A major scale is the C scale on all the white keys. So it sounds like this. So that's our major scale. Uh, our minor scale... Uh, is starts on A on the keyboard on all the white keys, and that sounds like this. As you go up and down the piano, as you start on a different on a different uh, key, if you play all the white keys, back up to the to the one you started at. So all the way up and all the way down the scale, each one of those is a particular mode that isn't major or minor. It's a different mode. It's uh, sometimes called, uh, they, they have different names for them. Sometimes they're called the ancient church modes. The one here, Dorian mode, has is minor, is a minor scale, but it has the sixth raised. So, you, if you begin on D on the piano and play all the white keys, it sounds like this. Okay. Uh, by the way, 
church modes do show up quite a bit in popular music. Uh, one of the best examples I can think of is Mixolydian mode in the Coldplay hit Clocks. So, and that, that, this is what that sounds like. And if you listen to it, you'll hear it. So Dorian shows up quite a bit too. You'll find it in jazz and, uh, of course, uh, church music and uh, some popular music as well. I can't think of any examples off the top of my head, but it is out there. So that's what this tune is in. It's not in minor, it's in Dorian. So why don't we sing it together? <clears throat> Oh, there is the text in the tune. Dum, dum. We're going to start a little lower than that F so that more folks can, it'll be in your more folks range. So we'll start with that. Now the green blade rises from the buried grain. Wheat that in dark earth many days has lain. Love lives again, that with the dead has been. Love is come again, like wheat arising green. In the grave they laid him, love by hatred slain. Thinking that he would never wake again. Laid in the earth like grain that sleeps unseen. Love is come again like wheat arising green. Forth he came at Easter like the risen grain. He that for three days in the grave had lain. Raised from the dead, my living Lord is seen. Love is come again like wheat arising green. When our hearts are wintry, grieving or in pain, your touch can call us back to life again. Fields of our hearts that dead and bare have been. Love is come again like wheat arising green. It's such a lovely carol, isn't it? And I love that last line there. Fields of, the earth, of our hearts that dead and bare have been. It reminds me of here in Minnesota, it is cold into uh, long into April and it reminds me of the wind on the prairie just barreling down and uh, there's the promise of new life um, there might be a few green shoots coming up in the field but it, it all it, most of it just seems dead most of the grass out there the fields are empty the grass is brown and uh, it reminds me of the wind sweeping over the prairie. Glad you were able to join me today for this hymn. Uh, may God bless you this day and always. And I will see you back here again tomorrow.